all steady on. Look at this. Look at these. Muckers! How's it going? Right, here's the plot. So the Fud Weasel saw a Massey Ferguson online in an auction. But because under the current restrictions, you can't go along like you normally would and view it and then bid on it on the day and check it over. So all he had was a few photographs to go on. So with that in mind, he bid on it uh, as a non-runner. So we didn't know if it ran at all, or if it ran a little bit <laughs> or whatever. So basically sight unseen, just off a few photos, he put a bid in and uh, long story short, it didn't actually win in the auction, but they uh, had a deal after the auction because nothing reached the reserve. So fast forward two weeks time because we've been trying to keep our travel down to a minimum because of the restrictions. So the other morning, very early, we had uh, a big water pump to deliver to a site that flooded. So we said, right now is the time. It wasn't very far away off our route. So we said we can drop the pump off and then we can swing by, pick up the tractor and get it home. Now, when we got it back, we found that, yeah, the engine was stuck. So with that in mind, roll the titles. <laughs> So this morning we are um, going to pick up, um, well I'm not going to tell, well I might as well tell you because you're going to see it in the thumbnail aren't you really, so it's pointless not saying. So we're going to pick up Massey 165, something a little bit different. I reckon he's gone to the same place we are. Shut the gate again. Mm. Finally got myself a job. We've got to stop at the office or? It's okay. Old county, look. It's nice. Oh, dear Arctic there, look. Got all the duels as well, look. It's nice, that is. Who the hell would buy an old Massey? Oh, steady on. Look at this. Look at these. And look at the bonnet nose, there's difference on them, look. That one's got that angle nose on it, look, and this one's got the normal nose. Another way of loading it. Seems to be there. Is what it is, isn't it? So, you and I have bought some fun crap, didn't you? It's actually just all there. So, it's all right, yeah. Does it look like it I, I don't know. I already don't know yet, but it's, it's, it's all there. It's got a weepy core plug. Right, so we're all loaded and on our way back. And, uh, yeah. See what. Uh, See what it's like when we get back to the yard. See if it's um, well, see if it's absolutely stuck or um, it can be freed off easily. Drain's got a lot of water in. I had a lot of rain though, so I'm not surprised really. Time for a coffee, I reckon. Yeah, I might. So what do you want? Three breakfast. breakfast. Do the thing. Three breakfast. Can I have three lattes, please? Okay. And and can I make something else, please? Well, 
Looking handy, isn't it? Yeah. I'll just. Hello. 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 Can I add to that order, please? You're going to have to do that on the next week, though, now, and I'll take you. Alright. Look, that's. Weird. What's that about? Like, no, I'm just gonna. I'm listening. The first thing you say, and then. Yeah, then I'm just gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off. Fuck's sake. It's like, too late. Too late. Too, too late. Yeah. What do you want? Well, no, I'll have. I'll have some coffees, please. Yeah, that's it. No, no, sorry. No, no. Sorry, I'd like some. Late. No, you can't. Next one. window now. Next window. Tell me what you ought to do is get get a copy of the local paper. Look in the job section and find <laughs> a job she actually fucking likes doing. Because this obviously isn't it. No. Morning. Can I um have three breakfast rolls as well, please? And a chicken McFlurry. And a <laughs> pun. Lovely, thank you. Ah, oh, splendid. At last. There. Yeah, mine will be the one that's been drop kicked into the bag. Fucking hell. Useless bastards. Thank you very much. I don't know why we get eating this crap. People would say, I would rather crap in my hands and clap. Well, ironically, it looks like that was exactly what they've done with this roll. All right, so the mass is back. It's in the shed. Um, and this is the first time, really, we can have a good look at it. Now, the rear wheels, they're so on 32s. I think it should be on, like, 36 or 38s, I think. I'm not sure. Then you look at this short roll bar, overall height is very low. I wondered if that's the whole point is to get the back end of this tractor down so it could get into low sheds. I was going to say, oh look, all the oil's coming out of this old massy. Truth is, that's out of the Ford. All right, that's had a bit of a bang and whatever, probably during shipping, I would have thought. Uh, it's been smacked, but that's nothing. You can get another one of those. Oh, this isn't so bad. I, yeah, I thought it'd be a lot worse than this. They'll be able to buff this out, no problem. However, just look how straight this old actual bonnet is. That is really nice. The tin work on this is exceptional. And that is one of the reasons that I think he wanted to buy it. I am just gonna have a little play with this and see if I can just get this to you know rock or if there's any movement at all in there. Right, now it's really a tight gap down in there, which is, I can see it, I think. I have got some large crank neck ring spanners, but I think just for the time being, just to see what we're gonna do, what I'll do, I'm gonna rock the wheel backwards and forwards with it in gear. And then you let us know if you see that moving. Um, so I don't know if I can see it from there, but what I'll have to do is watch it back on the camera anyway. So let's see what happens. Anything happening? Let me see from here. Well, I just watched the footage back on here and it does seem to be moving. That's brilliant. Now, you can't be 100% sure, but it does point to at least it wasn't run short on either water, you know, coolant or oil and seized like that. All right, and so it begins. So I'm gonna try and get this bonnet off. Oh yeah, you got, you got the bird's nest, we know that. So yeah, I don't know what it was. What do you reckon? Should, should we, should we if, try and get a battery connected to this, right? Or, it's not going to do any harm, is it? If we, no, as long as we just click, click, gentle. Okay, now we've obviously got um, a battery put on here now. Obviously on the churn of destiny. Um, and I've got the remote start and we've got a light. So that's good. So there is actually power to that. Now, just so you're all aware, um, obviously we checked the other day, we checked when we picked it up that it had oil in. Black and in there. there is a bit of black in there. We've got, obviously, all the fuel lines connected. There's a bit of fuel in here, but we're not going 
for a start. This is not a will it start. This is will it actually turn a complete revolution. That's all we're looking for. As I said, you saw me rock it. We saw there was movement there. We just want to know if this will turn. If it doesn't, we're not going to push it any further. Let's see what happens then. Ready? All clear? Yep. Oh. What? Stay. It's moving. All right. Should we? Give it a little bit more. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Moves a little bit more. I think there's a there's definitely a revolution. There's no tight spot. So should we just turn her over half a dozen times? Yeah, see what happens. Okay. There's no noise or anything there. Nothing. Okay. Now have we got any coolant in there? Are you no, the radiator bottom hose is the off. The bottom hose is off. All right. Now. With that in mind, just so everybody is listening, if we go and attempt to start, yeah. then we've got, let's just say a 30 second window. I don't want to run it for any longer. I know it won't even you know, damage it. You could run it probably for five, <laughs> minute, 10 minutes. 10 minutes yeah. yeah. But just on the safe side, should we now put the stop in, put the exhaust on, and we'll go to see if we can get it to fire up. Yeah. If it fires up, good, we'll stop it and then we know where we're going to the next stage. But yep. there's certainly no grinding, tapping or anything when we're just turning, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay. What's the worst that can happen? I'll buy a few more parts. Well, you'll do what you always do and you'll build a brand new Perkins engine again, so <laughs> that'll be fine. All right, let's do that then. Right, I think... Um, Mr. Cosby, you're wanted on set. Just under a minute. Do you want to sit? We can see if it goes again if you want. I'm done, it's our own steam now. Okay. Right, let's just try one more time. Just as I said, we'll just do a stop and a start. Can you get around there ready to stop it? Because yeah. I don't want to run out. I just want to see if she'll fire up now on her own merits. Are you going to try for the hydraulics, aren't you? <laughs> I thought you would. Okay. <clears throat> ready? Yeah. Stop in? Stops in. Okay. Hydraulics coming up as well. That's great. The hydraulics work. Okay, stop her. Stop her. Brilliant. So she's now starting uh, <clears throat> on her own merits now. And as I said, you know, all these ones, oh, don't use ether, like, become addicted. You just go and lay down, all right? Because just find your safe space and just shut up. Because at the end of the day, you've got obviously a healthy engine. Yeah, we used a little squirt here and there just to get that fuel to draw up with, you know, because that's sometimes the only way it's been in, st well, storage, stood, whatever. In a hedge. In a hedge. And now you saw that without ether, because the fuel is all up in the whole system now, it started straight up on its own. And 3 point linkage worked as well. That came up. So that's good because that was a bit of a worry. Um, brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant. So, right, we're gonna make a plan. So the plan is, me and the Fud Weasel are going to, obviously with everything else, we've got 3,000 to do and whatever we know, but we wanna get this running and driving so that we can get it in and out and out of our way. We've got parts to put on as we know, but what do you reckon then, Boyd? 
Well, if, I'm just going to get, get the steering sorted out off and, and adjust it. It might well be the front drop. Um, yeah. On the front. Okay. Um, oil filter, fuel filters. I'll, I'll get the whole lot for it. And we'll, okay. And we'll get it going. Brilliant. I mean, the source know. setter. Rear wheels. The under wheels for it. Brilliant. I do like it on these big fronts, and that'd be nice on a set of 38s, I it think. Would, well, certainly 36s, I think, would look pretty good. 38s look even better. I know, but I'm not sure if I don't care. I think it looked lovely on 38s, and then because she'd look a monster. Yeah. But I didn't actually expect to have this fired up today, I must admit. I no, thought, no, no, I, do you know what I wanted to see? I wanted to see this turning over today. Well, I was actually going to yeah, get a three quarter socket, put it on the crank, and take the injectors out and put. APM That's exactly what you say, yeah. And, and yesterday you say, I rocked the thing with her in gear, and I saw that turn. But it must. We must have just just loosened it off by putting it on the arm a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, but I was I'm pleased with how sweet That is a result then. Yeah. So, what a treat. Yeah. Massey 165. Yeah. 1967. 1967. There you are. See, red ones are, oh, do you know. Shut yeah. up, you had enough of you going on now. It's taking up space that wants taken out of here. So, wasn't as bad as we first saw. And. At the end of the day, if it had turned out it was seized up solid, well, we've got an engine rebuild on our hands. Um, you know, we've got the facilities and we've got the, you know, the know-how to do it. Um, but that's a result because now we can move forward, service it all, and you know, could things like the condition of the oil and that will tell us a lot more. But we're hoping to make progress with that, and uh, yeah, see what happens. Now, let's jump back a few weeks. Do you remember I asked you the question, if you opened the curtains one morning and found a tractor of your choice sat out on your yard or your driveway, what would it be? Right, all the names went into the generator. Number one was pushed for one name to be drawn. And that name was Andrew Edwards. And Andrew said he wanted to see a David Brown 990. So, Andrew, Congratulations, and I'll sort something out to do with the David Brown 990 for you, for a model or whatever, okay? Now, from one question to another, and this week's question is, if you could choose uh, the subject matter for an episode of this channel, what would it be? So as an example, if you want to, I don't know, you want me to go and have a look at um, Ford 7810, or, I don't know, uh, Massey 3080, or a John Deere 4240S, put that down in the old squip pit, the old comment section. And obviously when travel restrictions lift a little bit, you know, more, then I'll try and find that type of tractor and, uh, yeah, we'll do an episode on, on that. So if one, if I get lots of people sort of saying Ford 8210 or TW35 or John Deere, you know, 3650 or whatever, I'll find one and we'll, we'll do a complete episode on, on that tractor. But don't go and put something like, you know, oh, I know where there's a uh, single prototype uh, of, of a certain variant and uh, it's in a collection in uh, Tanganyika, it's just like, Something that's fairly mainstream. It could be, you know, a lot of vintage tractor. It could be a classic. It could be a modern tractor. But anyway, put your answers in the old squip pit below, and we'll see what which one is most popular. And then when you know time and that allows, I'll go and film it. We'll do an episode on that tractor. So there you go, muggers. That's another one done. And uh, like I said before, I don't mind whether you subscribe or not to the channel, that's up to you. Uh, but it is free, and if you do subscribe, you get told of when I put up another video, especially if you press that little notification bell. Plus, I'm putting other stuff up on the community page. So if you are subscribed to the channel, um, in between the videos, I often put up various posts and pictures of stuff that I'm doing. Uh, like I've just done one already before this came out of the little Massey uh, when we went and picked it up from the sale ground. Plus, as you know, you can find me on um, Facebook, which is Podge Muck, and you can get me on Instagram, which is Mucker4890. And again, I'll be putting stuff on there in between the videos and throughout the weeks. 
So there we go, on to the next one. And that next one will probably be a bit more than that little Ford 3000 that you all love. Anyway, we've got some bits for that and we've got to do some service on it and this, that and the other, but all that good stuff, I will keep you up to date with what we're doing. Well, I suppose before we go, we better have her just say hello to everybody who wants to say hello. Come on, come here. Come and say hello, come on, this is popular. Look, 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 look. Did you see that? Yes, you, they want to see you. Very good. Yes. Right, off you get now this time. Better, it's getting better. Right, until the next one, muckers. Do well.